number bands. We have already learned about number bands, but today my number band looks a little bit different. Last time we did it, the circle that was all by itself was at the top and the two circles were on the bottom. Today the number band is upside down. We're going to start with the cupcakes in two separate circles and what we're going to do is we're going to bring them all together into the one big circle to see how many they make together, okay? Over here we have how many cupcakes? One, two, three. Over here we have how many cupcakes? One, two, okay? I'm going to start putting my cupcakes down here in the circle on the bottom. So there's one, two, three, and then let's move these ones on this side. One, two. How many cupcakes do we have all together on the bottom? One, two, three, four, five. Now there's five cupcakes, okay? When I had them all by themselves at the top, there was three on this side and there was two on this side. That means three and two make what number? Five, okay? So to make five, we can do three and two. Here's what it looks like in an equation. So I have my five cupcakes all together here. I'm going to move my number five over here. Five equals, we had one, two, three cupcakes plus one, two cupcakes, and that made the number five. When we've done equations before, the equal sign was always on this side, but this time the equal sign is over here. Sometimes you're going to see math problems where it has the answer first and it says it equals, what's the equation? So we know there's 5 and 5 equals 3 plus 2, okay? So even though the equal sign is on this side, it's still the same thing. 3 plus 2 equals 5. Here's another problem. In this circle, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 cupcakes. In this circle, we have 1, 2, three cupcakes. We're going to put all the cupcakes together in this circle on the bottom to see how many cupcakes we have. Ready? One, two, three, four, five cupcakes. And over here we have one, two, three cupcakes. How many cupcakes do we have all together? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight cupcakes. Good. Now I'm going to put them back into their circles on the top. We had five over here and three over here. And what, what number did they make? Eight all together. Good job. So when I put that in an equation, the eight cupcakes equals, we had one, two, three, four, five, plus one, two, three cupcakes, and that makes eight. So eight is equal to five plus three. Here's another one, ready? How many cupcakes are in this circle? One, two, three, four. And over here, we have one, two, three, four, five, six cupcakes. Let's put all the cupcakes together down here in the big circle, ready? One, two, three, four. And over here we have one, two, three, four, five, six. How many cupcakes do we have all together? Let's count them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10 cupcakes. So if we put them all back at the top again, we had four cupcakes and six cupcakes and together that makes 10. Good. When I put it in the equation, here's my 10 cupcakes all together. 10 equals one, two, three, four, plus one, two, three, four, five, six. Six, so 10 is equal to four plus six. All right, here's our last one, ready? Over here we have how many cupcakes? Three. Over here we have how many cupcakes? Three. 
Okay, now we're going to put them together. Some of you already know 3 plus 3, I know, but let's do this problem together. 1, 2, 3, and 1, 2, 3. When we put them together, now we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 cupcakes. Okay, if I split them back up at the top, over here we have 3, and over here we have 3. Together they make 6. Okay, when we write our equation, we have 6 is equal to 3 plus 3, right? So let's move the cupcakes. 1, 2, 3, plus 1, 2, 